Good morning everyone and welcome to Ben's Addiction. Thanks for watching and continuing to watch my series of video on my SL500 R129 and CLK320 W209. Today I'm very happy I received finally my package by DHL from Germany, my diagnostic adapter to be able to scan this R129 SL500 suspension and diagnose the fault and suspension and hopefully solve it. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe and like to receive more videos on my SL500 in the next few days. So this is my 624 Elite Foxwell scanner that I bought and I am currently have scanned many Mercedes-Benz with it and it supports other cars as well. So the diagnostic port for the uh, R129 is over here. There should be a plastic cover on this side. I have removed that already. There are three screws over here that you need to remove to get rid of that plastic as you can see my cabin filter is exposed as i'm going to replace that cabin uh, filter as well so you probably see some uh, bits and pieces missing over here so this is the adapter i bought for my obd2 scanner it has a 38 pin socket Remove this cap. This is already good news. My scanner is on. I only need to turn on the ignition. Now I need to input the VIN manually as it failed to retrieve automatic VIN acquisition. So I entered my VIN manually. Let's go with manual selection. One twenty nine. Let's go with quick scan. So scanning 17 modules with this OBD2 scanner with adapter didn't take more than 3-4 minutes. 
and it was a comprehensive diagnosis and all it could find was an airbag fault and nothing else and this is kind of a good news but the bad news is that the suspension module was not included I bought this adapter to scan the uh, suspension faults on my SL500 R129 but the quick scan didn't include any modules related to suspension let's go through a manual scan and see if I can find this module inside the manual scans or not okay to sum it up this scanner does a great job in scanning most of the modules on this old r129 this is a 1994 car so this is pre obd2 but its weak point is that it is unable to scan the suspension the hydraulic suspension and also i cannot find any live data for the most of the modules so there is no option as live data when you use a 38 pin but in saying so this is a great tool to be able to scan most of the modules but not a comprehensive tool to diagnose these cars still I believe uh, star C3 and C4 is the most uh, comprehensive scanning tool that we can have but those are only limited to chinese uh, cloned versions and they are usually bulky and they need a laptop and they are not very convenient and they are slow as well to some extent okay guys thanks for watching this video so far i hope this video has been helpful and as usual please stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe please for more videos like this